Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this tutorial on how to write a C++ program for the modified Euler's method. Now, the modified Euler's method is basically a slight modification to the original Euler's method that we discussed in our previous video. And it is basically used, uh, in case you missed the previous video, it is basically used to solve a differential equation and it is a numerical method so the answer that you get is not always absolutely correct but you can get a pretty good approximation using these methods and it is also an iterative method just like any other numerical method so well that's it about the method and in this video um, this video is gonna be pretty long because I will be you know discussing the concept of modified Euler's method though I wanted to do that in a separate video and, and I probably will do a separate separate video about that but I still wanted to you know at least discuss some of the key concept used in this method so I will be doing that then we will go through the algorithm and then I have the flow chart but we'll probably just uh, you know skip through that as it is pretty much redundant as it is basically just a copy of the algorithm and then finally we will go through the program all right all right so the Euler method right so in the previous video I told you guys that um, let's say I have a function f of x that you can see right here this function is the um, is a function of x and let's say I have a differential equation dy by dx um, where y is this function right now if I have uh, an initial point that is I have some initial values for x and y and let's say that the initial value for x is x0 and initial value of y is y0 then what I could do was I could predict the value of y at you know at a value of x let's say x1 so basically if I knew some value of y at some initial value of x then what I could do was I could predict the value of y at another value of x in this case maybe x1 and how I did that was I used the value of x and the initial values of x and y that is x0 and y0 and I plugged them into the differential equation and since differential equation looks something like dy by dx basically it is just giving me the slope of the function right so I got this uh, line that you are seeing here that so I could get that slope from that equation right this line so once I got the slope what I could do was I could use a basic formula of a straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c to predict the value of y at x1 so I would just use the slope as m I would use x1 for x and I would uh, use um, a constant c that, is, that would be the intercept of the line so that's uh, what we would do in the usual Euler method, right? But in this case, in the, um, in the modified Euler method, it is quite an improvement over the traditional Euler method. Why? Because as you can see, this curve right here is going somewhere here and the true value of y at x1 is this. But what we get from the Euler approximation is somewhat um, way far away from the original point. So what Euler suggested was that maybe what we could do is we could calculate the slope at this value of y at the initial value then we could predict the value of y at x1 that is y1 and then we calculate the slope of the curve at, uh, at y1 using the initial values as y1 and x1 so we calculate the slope again using y1 and x1 this time and then now we have two slopes right so we have this slope right here and then we have another slope right here and then he suggested that we take the average of these two slopes and then we use that slope the average slope to predict the new value of y so basically that is the gist of the modified Euler method so what we do is we calculate the slope at the beginning of the curve of the interval and we calculate the slope at the end of the interval so that's it and let me show you another image too that will um, be useful while we will be programming the you know uh, modified Euler program so 
um, what we will be doing is we will have some initial value of x and y let's say the initial value here is 0 and the initial value of y here is minus 1 now we use these two values to calculate y prime this dy by dx and then we multiply that by h which is a step interval and we get h y prime right then what we do is we calculate the new value of y using the traditional Euler method which was y n um, y n plus 1 that is the new value of y is equal to y n plus h y prime n so basically just the sum of these two so that's how we calculate the new value of y using the traditional Euler method then we calculate the uh, derivative at this new value of y and we multiply that by h and get this and now we have the you know derivative that is the slope of the function at the older value of y and the rather new value of y calculated using the Euler method. So what we do is we use this slope and this slope and we calculate their average. So now we have the average of the two slopes multiplied by h and then we use this thing and the original x um, y n to calculate the new value of uh, using the modified Euler method. So the formula for modified Euler method is yn plus 1 equals yn that is the original value plus h y prime average where y prime average is the derivative of the um, sorry it is the average of the derivative of y at the initial value of y plus the newer value calculated using the traditional Euler method. I know it must be a lot, of, a lot to take in, but I recommend that you pause the video sometimes if you feel confused and just rewind it and go through it and maybe, you know, do some uh, research on the internet or in your textbook and it will be pretty easy to get. Anyhow, returning um, to the algorithm. So now you know that what we are supposed to do. And one more thing, let me just... Um, and as you can see, um, we keep on incrementing x at every step. So once we calculate the new value of y, what we do is we increment x by 0.1 or whatever value that you want. And then we use this value of x and this new value of y that we have calculated as the initial values in the next step. And then again, we repeat the process. We calculate the derivative of y at this using these two values. Then we calculate the newer y using the, uh, the traditional Euler method, then we calculate the slope of y at this newer value of y, and then we calculate the average, then the newer value of y using the modified Euler method involving this average of the slopes. And then we keep on repeating the process until we reach the point uh, at which we desi desire the value of y. Basically, a differential equation is to you know, get the value of y for some particular value of x. And in this particular problem, what it was desired was that we needed the value of y for x equals to 0.5. So we started from 0, that was the initial value, and then we incremented it by 0.1. And in 5 steps, we reached y of 0.5 and we get the value, right? So that's the, you know, what, that's what we need to do. Now coming to the algorithm, it's pretty basic. We need the user to enter the initial values of x and y. Then we need the user to enter the value of x for which y is to be determined. For example, in this case, the, uh, the user wanted the value of y at x equals to 0.5. So he will enter 0.5 there. Then we ask the user to enter the width of the interval. And again, in this case, the width of the interval was 0.1. However, you can use a smaller width like 0 0.001 or 0 0.01 to get a rather you know a better answer because the smaller the interval the more number of iterations will be there and we will get a better approximation then we have an iterative step right here that um, that we need to do until we reach the x for which um, the user wants the value of y so we will put that probably in a while loop and we will calculate the slope that is the we will use a differential equation dy by dx to calculate the slope at x0 and y0 and then we will use that value of the slope to calculate a newer value of y that is y new is equal to y0 plus h times slope and this is the you know traditional Euler method so that's what we will do then we will calculate the slope at this newer value using this newer value of y 
in in the first time we used x naught and y naught but this time we will put x naught and y nu in in the equation for the of the differential equation right so we will calculate the slope at the you know end of the interval then we will calculate the average of the two slopes um, they will probably be uh, you know divided by two sign here that i forgot to put so you will add slope one and slope two and then divide them by two then um, you calculate the new value of y using this slope this average slope and y naught plus h times average slope and this is actually the modified euler method this is the formula for the mod modified euler method and then we increment x by x naught by h and then we make y naught equal to y uh, the newer value of y using the modified euler method and then we continue the process until we reach the desired value and then finally we print the solution then the flow chart is pretty much self-explanatory and I'll probably skip through that. You can see that I, I will attach these you know, files in the attachment, so don't worry if you um, can not follow the video. You can probably download them and understand them on your own also. All right, so now let's come to the program. So this is the program for the modified Euler's method and is used for solving differential equations, right? So first of all, let me just import some of the useful libraries, the input output, the manipulators, and the math libraries. Then we define a function df, and we may, uh, um, we have, uh, this function has two arguments right here, x and y, because a differential equation like dy by dx could be something like dy by dx equal to x plus y, right? I'm sorry, that is supposed to be x. So a differential equation could be something like dy by dx equals to x plus y. So we need to have this function um, df have two arguments x and y. And I have both of these arguments of the type double. And similarly, the function is also of the type double. And then what we need to do is we need this function df to return the arches of the differential equation. Now, what I mean by the arches of the differential equation is Let's say your differential equation is dy by dx equals to cos of, cos of x, right? So what I need this function to return would be the arches of dy by dx. So the arches of dy by dx is cos of x. So I will have this function df return cos of x. And again, if you, know, if you have an equation something like dy by dx minus 2 equals cos of x, then what you need to do is you need to take this minus 2 to the RHS such that you only have dy by dx on the LHS, right? And then you need to, this function to return cos of x plus 2. So anyhow, that's um, what um, this function here is for. It represents uh, or it basically returns the RHS of the differential equation. Then we have our main function where we have defined some, declared some of the variables that we will be using then we prompt the user here to enter the initial values of x and y and we store them in two variables x0 and y0 then we prompt the user to enter the initial value of um, sorry to enter the value of x for which he would like to find y then we store that value in a variable called x then we prompt the user to enter the interval width that is h and we store that in a variable h then we have two lines uh, to format the table, um, just like the just like the one that I showed you before. Um, we want a table that looks something like this, right? X and Y and H Y prime and so similarly. What I have is here is um, I have uh, I am printing X then Y. Um, basically, this is the heading of the table, right? Heading of each of the columns of the table. So that's what I'm printing. This is for the X column, which would uh, be print where we would be printing the values of x at various iterations, then the values of y at various iterations, and so on. And set w is to set um, some space between these x and y. You can use any integer between in the brackets to signify the amount of spacing that you want between the elements. Then, uh, so the, that's what these two lines are for, for the heading of the table, anyhow. So now we go to our loop, which is basically the most crucial part of the program that will be calculating the solution of the differential equation. So we will um, use a while loop 
that will go on until we reach x right because um, the user desires the output that is the value of y for x um, for, a, for some particular value of x and we are storing that value of x in the variable x so that's why we need this loop to go to go on till we reach x and then what we have is we calculate the slope um, actually we are calculating a slope into h right we are calculating h into dy by dx where we are using x0 and y0 as the arguments for df and remember this part that since you define your function df to have two arguments so it is quite crucial that you you know pass two parameters whenever you ca call it this function so in this line i am calculating the slope and the slope would be df of x x0 comma y0 and then i'm multiplying that by h so i'm basically basically thinking ahead and doing two steps at a time then I'm using this um, formula for the traditional Euler method to calculate the rather newer value of y and uh, newer value of y. And the formula for the original Euler method was initial value of y plus h times slope. And since dy1 is h times slope, so that's what um, it is I'm doing here. Then I calculate the slope at the end of the interval using the newer value of y. So in df this time i will pass the parameters x0 and yi which is the newer value of y using the traditional euler method so now i have you know hy prime and i have hy prime newer right so i will calculate the average of those two slopes at in this step i will calculate the average and i will get hy prime average and then I will use the modified Euler method, uh, the formula for the modified Euler method here. And that is the new value of y equals initial value of y plus h times y prime average. And since dy average already is h times y prime average, so I'm using that. And then finally we print out x, the value of x, the value of y, the value of uh, hy prime, the value of new y, the value of hy prime at new y and then hy prime average and then finally we print out the new y that we obtained after the you know modified Euler method and um, this is for the particular iteration and since the loop goes on a few times so we will have this row um, these rows a few times then we increment x by h and we make y0 equal to the newer value of y and repeat the loop until we reach x all right and then finally we print the approximate value of y at x equals um it, it should be x only not at x equals something um the approximate value of um, y at x is and whatever we get right so let me just save the program and now let's run the program um let me just clear the screen mm -hmm. okay so compile the program then we will run the program and um, keep that in mind that I'm using the differential equation dy by dx equals cos of x uh, in this example, right? Because I have made the R is equal to cos of x. So let's say that the initial conditions are, or the initial values are 0 and 0. And let's say I would like to find the value of y for um, 0.1. And let's say that the interval width is 0 0.001. And when I hit enter, you can see that it performs a huge number of steps because I used a pretty small width for the interval, that is I used 0 0.001. So it is approximately like 100 steps to reach 0.1. And you can see that I'm printing x at each iteration, then I'm printing y at each iteration, h y prime, y new, h y new prime, h y prime average new value of y just like i was doing before right and you can also see that um, that i'm getting the answer as um, 0.998359 so in case you want to check out whether this answer is correct or not i already did i already did that for you um, since the differential equation is dy by dx equals cos of x and basically it is 
um, it means that y equals sine of x plus some constant and let's say that the constant is zero so in that case um, basically the function is sine of x so um, what I did was I checked the value of sine of point 0.1 that is um, and make and uh, keep this thing in mind that C++ usually calculates in radians until you specify it to do something with degrees. So basically what uh, the program is doing it is calculate the value of sine is it is calculating the value of sine at point 0.1 right. So when you check out that in your calculator you can see that the value of sine of point 0.1 is 0.99833. And you can see that the pro using our program, we got a pretty good approximation. We got 0 0.99, um, 0 0.09983 actually, and which is pretty good. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys followed. I hope I did not, um, sorry, I hope I did not confuse you very much. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below, and I will make sure to answer those. And if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this well that's it thanks for watching and have a great day